Hi class, now we're going to be doing the muscles that move the thigh. We're continuing on the thigh. Action is going to be at the hip joint. And we are going to be looking at the muscles of abduction. Abduction. So that is moving um, the hip joint away from the midline. So these are going to be lateral muscles. Now I took off... Um, the leg, the limb on this side, just so we could have better access to look at the the leg um, all the way around. So we're going to be looking at medial and lateral muscles. So always make sure you, you know if you are on the, here's the anterior, here's the medial, medial thigh, and here's the lateral thigh. So we're going to start on the muscles of abduction. They are all located on the lateral lateral um, area here. So the first one on your list is the tensor fasci lati. Tensor fasci lati. Sounds like a nice drink at Starbucks. Give me a tall tensor fasci lati. Anyway, it's this little muscle that's embedded in this tendon sheath. So when we look at it on the cadaver, we'll show you this is the the IT band, the iliotibial band or tract, it's very tough. A tough connect, um, connective tissue, very, it can get very tight. Sometimes you'll hear about some um, people that have tight I, IT bands. Well, that is the IT band. And this muscle, the tensor fasci lati, is just this red part right here. That is the actual muscle. The, the IT band is up in here and down in here. So it's just this little muscle that sits right in this pocket right here. Most of us, you're not going to be able to, to see it externally. Athletes, you'll see a bulge right in this area here. So that is your tensor fasci lati. So if I'm not sure if we isolate it, if it's going to give us what we're looking for. Let's just see. Mm, no, no, because you, you lose the IT band down here. So, but you can basically see that this is a lateral muscle. The in the origin um, is up here in in the hip itself on the lateral aspect of the, the iliac crest here, but the insertion is going to be on that IT band that's lateral that's lateral. So I to O is going to bring the hip out in this direction. It's going to be abduction. Oops, abduction. Here's the origin. Insertion is actually going to be down in the IT band down in here, but it's going to be bringing that hip up I to O, crossing the hip joint. So there is the tensor fasci lati. And the next one is the gluteus medius. Well, most people always think of the gluteus maximus. We know that is the gluteus maximus. Posterior, more of a posterior muscle. The gluteus medius is this part right here. So the, the gluteus um, medius, it's origin is going to be on the posterior iliac crest right in through here and its insertion is on the greater trochanter. So let's just go ahead and isolate this muscle out. I don't like it when it gets so big so fast. So basically lateral muscle here it's insert, inserting on that greater trochanter which is right on the lateral upper lateral part of the femur right here I to O I to O you can see it on this side I to O that is definitely going to give you some abduction bringing that that femur going up in this direction so the action it's crossing the hip joint it's going to give you abduction at the hip joint abduction. So that is that is the gluteus medius. 
Now the gluteus minimus, I'm going to fade the gluteus. Um, if I if I totally take this guy away, I can't get back. So I'm just going to fade him. The gluteus. Well, can't get to now. Guess I'll have to take him out. The gluteus minimus is deep to the medius, so let's go ahead and isolate him out. There we see the gluteus minimus. So the minimus is basically inserting in the exact same place as the gluteus uh, medius, the greater trochanter of the femur. Here's its origin, so another I to O is going to give you abduction. And now I've lost my gluteus medius. I can't get it back. Uh, so those are the lateral muscles. So the three lateral muscles uh, are going to be giving you abduction, the tensor fasci lati, the gluteus medius, and the gluteus minimus. Now the opposite of abduction is adduction, so they are going to be on the opposite sides of the upper leg. If the abductors are here on the lateral side, the ad abductors, adductors, ADD, the ADDs are going to be here. And what's kind of cool about looking at um, these muscles, here is your sartorius. Remember, sartorius is a hip flexor. The sartorius is kind of the dividing line between the hip flexors. And here we're going to have the quads right in here. And on the other side of, of sartorius are going to be your adductors. So we're going to have our pectineus is here. We're going to have adductor longus is here. Adductor longus. Next to sartorius, L-O-N-G, we got adductor longus, L-O-N-G, and we have adductor magnus here. Now let's go ahead and isolate them out because they will, you're only seeing part of them. So let's go ahead and isolate out that pectineus. So pectineus. So we see the origin of this little pectineus is in the superior pubic ramus. Remember, this is the superior pubic ramus. And its insertion is going to be, hmm, it's going to be in the linea spera, kind of in, in, in through here, the linea spera back in through here. It's like if you can see it back and through here. So what we're going to have is origin, insertion, I to O. It's going to be bringing the femur in this direction. So that is adduction. And we go to adductor longus. So adductor longus. And then you see its insertion is on the is still in the, the pubic ramus up and through here. And its insertion is in the lower part of the linea spera down here. So I to O is going to be bringing the femur in this way, adduction. And these muscles actually tell you what they're doing. They're, it, the first name of the muscle is adductor longus, so you know its action is adduction. It's an adductor. And then magnus. It, oops, magnus. And let's isolate magnus out. Oh, I want to get magnus. Where is he? Isolate him out. He is huge. He's huge. He's Magnus because he's huge. Origin up in here and insertion all along here and here. I to O. 
Adduction, Dr. Magnus. Now when you see him on our leg model and our cadaver, the way you're going to be looking at him, let's get rid of this thing, you're going to see pectineus is going to be fairly easy to see. You're going to have the iliopsoas here. You're going to have um, the vein artery, femoral, femoral um, vein, femoral artery, and femoral nerve are going to be right in through here huge artery, vein, and nerve that are feeding the limb, the lower limb, V-A-N, van, V-A-N, vein, artery, nerve. They're going to be right in here. Then you're going to have pectineus, adductor longus. You're going to have this muscle that's right in the midline here, gracilis. Gracilis is also an adductor. And if you notice on your master list, adduct gracilis crosses two joints. Gracilis, let's isolate out gracilis. Gracilis is crossing not only the hip joint, but the knee joint. So it's going to have action at the knee joint too. But gracilis is another adductor. And then on the other side of gracilis is going to be, get over here, adductor magnus. So you see a ductor magnus peeking through here. So let's isolate out a ductor magnus. It's huge. It's a pretty strong muscle. And you can only see part of it um, with all the other muscles uh, around it. But a ductor magnus, obviously another ductor, <laughs> says it right there, ductor magnus. But when you're looking at it on um, a cadaver, or most likely our leg model, because the cadaver is hard to get to this area. What you want to do is go away. Go pectineus longus, adductor longus. Find your gracilis. Gracilis is going to be dividing your longus from your magnus. And then here you have adductor magnus, and then you are going, you are now in the back muscles, the hamstrings. This is going to be semimembranosus. Remember, semimembranosus is deep to semitendinosus. And then here is the biceps femoris. This is the most lateral hamstring. Your biceps femoris is your BFF. Biceps femoris fibulala side, la for lateral. Semitendinosus on, is on your tibial side, the medial side. So next to that is going to be semimembranosus, which is deep to semitendinosus. And then you're going to have adductor magnus. So just keep that in mind. Gracilis is going to be dividing the magnus, adductor magnus, from adductor longus. Adductor longus here. Gracilis and adductor magnus, and then you're going back into your hammies, and adductor magnus is next to semimembranosus. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at your leg models so you, you, you know that they're all there. So those are your adductors. Pectineus, the little guy here, pectineus, adductor longus, adductor magnus, and then separating adductor longus and magnus is gracilis. Gracilis is, is going to be crossing two joints, so it will have action at the knee joint also. So remember these, the lateral part, the lateral side of your upper leg is going to have your abductors. The medial part is going to have your adductors. The anterior part of your leg is going to have your hip flexors, and the posterior part is going to have your hip extenders. So just kind of keep them in those big groupings. It'll be, make it easier to remember your actions. Well, I think that's it for hip ad abduction 
and hip adduction. So now we're going to move on to the muscles that move um, the knee in the next video.